Hey, thanks firstly for supporting Build a Bond. We really appreciate it, whether you were given it as a gift or whether you went out and bought it. Thank you. So this video is just a couple of tips. And just please remember, it's not about building the perfect project, but rather um, showing your children or your pupils how it all fits together so that they learn. So it's, it's meant to be educational. It's meant to be relationship building, so parents with children. Um, and if I can just say it's for boys and for girls. Um, and moms can also show the children how it's done. So just so that everyone's aware, it is the whole family that can take part in this. And then obviously it's uh, something different and to have fun. So what you will need is you'll need a drill. You don't need an impact driver. Let's just make it quick so I don't keep too much of your time. Have a tape measure and a pencil. And what you're going to do is um, you'll measure it up and everything and you'll guide them along the process. You, there's also a pamphlet um, with some guidelines on it. Um, obviously, you found the YouTube clip, so you might be battling, but this is a visual aid. So I'm just going to show you. So these are all the pieces that come. This is the crate that you're going to be building. So you can see from the side, it's uh, this side. And it's got a solid side and it's stackable. So we've put these two rails in there so that you can stack it on the next one. So that's quite nice. So it even comes with sandpaper. Oh wow, oh, that's so nice. Yeah, I know. We, we do our best to please. And then uh, it comes with screws, nails. Some people want to nail it together. Um, I would suggest rather screw it. But I've put both in there. So you've got both options. And then obviously whichever route you go, I would also suggest that you put glue in. I'm not going to put glue in, otherwise I'm going to take too much time. So, here's your tray. Just a quick tip before we get going. Plywood's got two sides. And one side is a nice smooth side. That's the side that I would put into the box. You're never going to see that side. And all the, all the pieces are the same. So you've got one nice side and one different side. I'm not going to call it ugly. It's all wood's beautiful. And then... Um, what I've done is I've already orientated all where my screws are going to go. So I'm just going to, so you would have now got to the stage where you've marked everything out and you've drilled it. Please bear in mind that when you drill it, that it should be six mils from the edge. Ah, six mils from the edge. Yes, that's because this plywood is 12 mils. So in order to be in the middle, there's six mils. Righty. So what I've done now is I've drilled my screws and I've got them just to protrude quite nicely. So the idea of them just protruding, make sure they're all protruding, just be careful you don't stick yourself, is so that you can mark the piece. So there's the top of my tray and I want to now, sorry I've marked this one and I know where I'm going. This side is going to be on here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that the rough side is on the inside, that the nice side is on the outside. Make sure nothing is on your table. And then what you're going to do, you're going to take the time to line it up. Line it up. And what you'll do is you will use those screws to mark where you're going to draw. So you'll notice I'm flipping my piece of wood here so that it stays the same so I know where I'm going. If I can't find my hole marks, at least I can see where the screws are so that I can draw. But I've done this before. I know where my holes are going. Right. Okay, then what I do is I'm going to turn it around. Make sure your bench is clear. Drop it down. Your screws should now find where the holes are. So it'll make it a bit easier. Make sure you keep it flush on the on the workbench. And by doing that, huh, look at that. A nice flush edge. Wow, you're so clever. Thank you. Then what you do for the other side, you're going to do the same thing. Remember, you want the nice side on the outside. So I'm going to put that. Same sort of process, make sure your screws are out. Line it up. And then you're going to push it in. 
get your mark. I'm going to flip my board up so that it stays orientated. Now I can see those marks. And I'm going to screw them. I'm drilling, should I say. Very high powered drill. Then, same process. Line it up. Use the old chin chin. Obviously, it'll be quite nice for you because you'll have your beautiful children holding there for you. Oh, and to the edge. You know when you're trying to rush. Slip down. Okay. Find the hole. Ah, it's another beautiful straight edge. Right. Then, this is where I want you to put both sides on. My screws here. Same thing. Get your screw to go through your rail. So it just protrudes. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it upside down. So now I know it's going to be flush on this side. And then I'm going to line it up. Poke the hole. Line it up this side. Perfect. Okay. Now by doing that, I know that my box is going to be 90 degrees. Okay. Again. Line it up. Onto the edge. Same with this side. Line it up flush. Beautiful. You know when it all comes together. Beautiful. So now you will see it's flush, flush. And I know that I'm going in the right line. Then what you do is, you would do the other side, and then you would mark down your other pieces. Before you start that process, I would suggest that you put these two on. And how you're going to do that is you're going to use another rail. So this would mimic that side, or your other one that you've got there. And then you would line this one up. And just leave it a mil or so before there. So what this will do is now this will help you orientate it going on to the other one. Okay. So I'll show you in a second what I'm doing. So now if I pull this away, I've got this space that's this box here so that it slides into the other box. And this one's got the shorter screws. Why have they got shorter screws? Very good question, I'm glad you asked. Use the other long screws, they will go all the way through, and you'd be in trouble. <laughs> Screw it on. The other side, same story. Get those ones in. Take my piece. Let me just get these in here. And then just you just be proud and then you also make sure on these sides it'll be like a mil and a half short just so that you get it to fit okay i'm going to screw that up all right so now the moment of truth, i'm going to get my other box and i'm going to be able to stack this one okay you see it stacks and if I had to swap it around it would be the same process and I've left this open so that I can show you how it works oh and then you've got your other rails there I hope uh, those tips help uh, thanks for joining us please have a look at our website um, build a bond and uh, there's some other exciting projects there awesome Jackson out <laughs>